I've had a few questions uh, from different people actually about um, trying to mimic a particular website. Um, different websites, but uh, one or two of uh, of us just for for sites they're actually like. Uh, they want us to you know try to mimic that in in Bootstrap Studio. Okay. So the latest one is this here. Um, it's called. It's in white. I can't actually see. It's called um, accessdmc.com. Okay, and I've got to admit, this is a really, really smart site. It's loads of images and opacity, um, and it's. I don't really know what it's really on about, but um, basically, it it really is nice there's a lot of a lot of images in this and it's all done with the uh, opacity however it's all it, it is with wordpress with wordpress and bootstrap studio it's not a happy marriage it won't work together um so basically it yeah if you if you want me to sort out and edit um things with uh, wordpress uh, then okay fine I can do that but it won't work with Bootstrap Studio that's just something that it won't do and bear in mind there's oh, there's loads and loads and loads of files connected with WordPress when you're going to download them okay um, the other thing is is that if you want a, web, a website and a sort of mimic it it might actually and it's not WordPress it might actually work with Bootstrap Studio by default um, so if you put it into the uh, import there, if you put the files in there, it might work, it might not. It just depends um, on the website itself. I haven't really got time to mess about by going from uh, right from the start to finish on them at the moment. But to edit things, um, you can actually download any website and edit it through a and a code editor or an HTML editor. And I use this thing here called uh, Web Copy, Cyotech Web Copy. And I've mentioned on this site in this channel before, um, and it can be found here. Uh, it's called Cyotech Web Copy, and all you have to do is uh, download it. And what, what that does, it gathers a website. It doesn't gather PHP though. But it does gather all your web, you know, any site that just you just download the site and it's used by going on the website. You just put wherever the website is that you want to uh, have a look at. You just go and put the name of that. Then you save it to the folder, okay? And the save to the folder could be anywhere you want. I've got a few there in, in a particular downloaded website, which is the default folder by Sciotech Web Copy. And as you can see, this one here that I downloaded was uh, the uh, the chap who asked the question, and there's all the files and that, and there's hundreds of them. Um, so yeah, so I'll give you the uh, the uh, the web address for that. But um, yeah, WordPress and Bootstrap Studio don't get, don't go together at all. Um, but when when you want to have a look at a site and the way it's done, it's best if you have any experience of editing a website just have a look at it if you like it just you know not copy the web the the website exactly but just put in whatever you want yourself um and you know it saves you a lot of time by doing that but make sure that you know that it's enough difference uh, so as not to make it a pure copy and put on all, all your own content of course so anyway i just thought i'd uh, draw that to your attention um as I say, uh, WordPress, it's, I think it's quite easy to edit it once you uh, get it, you know, once you get it uh, on your computer locally and using a uh, server. Okay, so again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.